but it feels like Monday because yesterday was a holiday. But we started work today at six. Came in. We got a. Uh, we had. We worked over the weekend on uh, Saturday and Sunday. We we carried a. Uh, local distribution containers from Mililani out to Kailua Big Box and uh, dropped it off and picked up an empty and brought that back to our yard at night. And uh, one of the things that's just started just recently in the last four days of driving is that the truck has become very hard to start. You have to crank it for like 10 seconds and then give the starter a break and then crank it for 10 seconds and give the starter a break and usually on the third try it will start which means there's air getting into the fuel line. And uh, we're not really sure if it's air or if the fuel filter's dirty. And, and that's more probable because I've been doing a lot of 200 mile days, which is un not normal. And uh, with the 100 gallons of fuel I have, I can go about 600 miles before I need to fuel up. That's not necessarily good for the truck. You don't want to get the truck down below a quarter of a tank. And I've been down below a quarter of a tank on quite a few occasions lately. And my water separator, which is usually at one level, <laughs> that was the low fuel warning, which is faulty also. The, the water separator level usually is down low, like half an inch. Now it's an inch, which is another sign that the fuel filters might be going bad. So we took it into the mechanic shop and we looked at a few things. There was a little bit of a pinch in the fuel return coming from the uh, fuel pump. So we uh, addressed that, but we don't think that's a problem. And the tanks are full of fuel this morning, so I don't see any problem with the rest of the day, but it's just something we're looking into. Our first movement was an empty 40 foot container coming back here to the shipping terminal. We already got it stripped off and parked the chassis. But now we got to run next door to the other shipping terminal and pick up a first of three full loads of solar panels headed out to the new solar farm in Eva Beach. So let's go do that. truck you can catch these problems before they become big problems like if the truck is easy to start and then all of a sudden it becomes hard to start that, that's a change you know you try to figure out what caused it Saturday and Sunday, which wasn't too bad. We came in at 9, we went home at 12. It was, it was real simple work. I think everybody worked over the holiday weekend at one point during the, <laughs> during the weekend. There was a, a lot going on. Other than that, we got a, a new screen put on our screen door lanai, and that was about as ambitious as I got. other projects but that one took a little bit longer than I thought it would. We had to treat some rust on the bottom of the screen door. That looks like the shipping terminal didn't open until 7. Oh man, it just now opened. Okay, so we gotta go back in the line here. after a holiday it would open up on time <clears throat> it's just just because it was a holiday doesn't mean the freight stopped back the shipping terminal was open all day yesterday we had a couple of guys come in and pull containers off the Sunday ship the 
Monday ship is in, but it doesn't look like they've started off loading it yet. Now we gotta queue up with everybody else and make our way into the shipping terminal. It seems very unfair to the trucking community of Hawaii to have the shipping terminals. Normal business hours. Anyway, making our way to the back of the line. section on the way out to the solar farms. This is where the Sand Island Access Road connects with the Nimitz Highway. Very busy intersection. Got all the trucks coming out of the shipping terminals making their way onto the highway. Either turning right going into the city area or turning left and getting on up onto the interstate and heading out to different parts of the island. stack 
fact is uh, very high, so along with being 48,000 pounds, our load is very high in the container also, so we're kind of top heavy.
working on 9-11 when the Twin Towers came down. This was the neighborhood I was in that day, working this, this route. What's interesting about this route is it's uh, the flight path for the Honolulu International Airport. One of my uh, biggest memories of that day was seeing the big 747 planes. When they, when they come over this neighborhood, it looks like they're moving in slow motion. They're so big and so low that uh, it looks like they move in slow motion. But every time one of those big planes would come over, fighter jets on either side of the way escorting it into the airport. So, they didn't know. Makes you wonder, right? What are they going to do? Shoot him down? But yeah, that's that's what I think of every time I come through this neighborhood.
Taylor's got different size panels and it, it's a the, best, the supervisor knows what's in each one. So basically three different areas we can go to. So he's gonna meet me here and I'll just follow him to wherever. Yeah. After this, the uh, shipping terminal was closed for lunch until 1 o'clock, so not sure what dispatch will have us do. It'd be good if we could come back and bobtail back and grab another empty. That might be an idea. Yep, yeah, that's it. We can shut it down. I have a feeling we did another 200-mile uh, day. My truck didn't have any problems starting until I started doing these back-to-back 200-mile -back days. Anytime we do four loads through that solar panel, because it's 25 miles each way, 200 miles, that's what we did. 205 miles today. 10 container movements, in at 6, we'll be out of here by 4.15. Actually by 4.30. Normally I would be off tomorrow, but because we were off yesterday, I told them I'd go ahead and help them get caught up because community is community list is four pages, and when it's like that, it means we we have more work than we can finish. That's because of the holiday, also. So might as well help out. Got nothing better to do. paperwork for the solar panels. Starting to get warm. June is the last comfortable month and then it's hot. Hot to me means over 85 degrees during the day. Because with our 70 to 80 percent humidity, that's a uh, torture. So we're headed home. We got a lot of food in the fridge to be eaten. I'm just going to make me a salad. The heat takes away your appetite, I think. I'll probably make it a taco salad and put some hamburger and cheese. And, hmm. Tortilla chips. That's what sounds good, at least. All in all, the truck ran well, though. It just was really hard to start. And we got four, four new to us trucks in the yard. Trying to get me to take one of them. How long is this truck running? They just don't want to give it to the more junior drivers because they feel they won't take care of them right. You give them an old truck, then they want to quit because they got an old truck and they don't know how to take care of it. So they're more likely to take care of it if it's new than if it's not. That's probably the best way to do it. Give them a new truck, and if they can't keep it running, then put them in an old truck and give somebody else a new truck. But at least give them a chance. But I don't run things around here. I'm just a, <laughs> I'm just an experienced truck driver. I think that's it though. Oh wait. everything except for the orange and the carrots and a granola bar. That's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Aloha.